Hi everyone, welcome to another week of our NFL picks. It's week eight in the NFL. We start with a Thursday night football, NFC South divisional battle. The Carolina Panthers go to Tampa Bay to take on the winless Bucks. Carolina, five and a half point favorites, and I say lay those points all day. The Bucks have shown no signs of improvement. Their best Doug Martin out for the year, apparently. And their only offense now is Mike Glennon tossing it up to Vincent Jackson and Mike Williams. They have nothing else. That's their only hope. And you just can't bet on a team that's ravaged by staff infections. Move to our next game. The Lions host the Detroit, the Dallas Cowboys, who are three-point dogs. And that's exactly where I'm going to do. Take the points on the road. I think the Cowboys have somehow found life under Monty Giffen, who was horrible in college but has proven to be a much better defensive coordinator now that he's back in the NFL. Uh, While the Lions have just seen, made some bad plays, gotten lucky that Calvin Johnson can make some plays in quadruple coverage. So I'm going to take the boys. Moving to our next game, another road team is who we're going to be betting. The 49ers minus 16 points going to the Jags. The Jags haven't scored an offensive touchdown. The 49ers offense is good enough to get 17 more than the Jags. And that's Pretty straightforward. Go to our next game. The Browns off a of humiliating loss to the Packers. Go to Kansas City to take on the only undefeated team remaining in the NFL. The Chiefs, who are seven-point favorites, and I say lay those points. The Chiefs should have covered last week, but came up short in the goal line multiple times. Had just three possessions, ended on the one-yard line, and they only came away with three points. Should have been a lot more against the Texans. The Browns have sort of been in decline since knocking off those few wins uh, following the Trent Richardson trade, but haven't looked good lately. Go to our next game. The Dolphins coming off a loss to the Bills when they were nine point favorites. Pats, seven point favorites. I think a week of having Gronk getting game ready can only help them. I'm going to lay the seven points and bounce on it, bet on a Brady bounce back. Next game, I'm taking the aforementioned Bills plus 12 points going to the Saints. I think that Mario Williams is playing out of his mind. The defensive line could be one of the best in football with Kyle Williams and Marcel Darius, along with Kiko Alonso is making plays all over the field. A guy who's really designed to cover those fast tight ends like uh, Jimmy Graham. He also got help over the top with uh, Jarius Bird back, Aaron Williams. The Bills are finally getting healthy in that secondary, which can only help them on offense. If C.J. Spiller and... Fred Jackson healthy, that will always help. You've got, uh, and you haven't had any bad play out of, really out of Thaddeus Lewis yet, so I'm going to keep on playing the Bills, going to our next game. The Giants, plus five and a half, going to Philadelphia. I'm going to take the points. I don't really know what to make of either of these teams. The Eagles looked horrible last week. Is Mike Vick starting? That's a big question. Hamstring still bugging him. If it's Matt Barkley, you definitely want to take the Giants. Go to our 4 o'clock starts. We've got the Jets plus 6.5 coming off that win against the Patriots. Going to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. Come off a 3-point win over the Lions. I'm going to take the Jets just to take the points. I don't really think the, the Bengals are that much better the way they're playing. Really, it's... Their offense revolves around A.J. Green. I think if Cromartie can limit him, you really, and the Jets are great against the run with Muhammad Wilkerson. I'm just going to take the six and a half points. I think this is a field goal game either way. Go to our next game, Steelers and Raiders. I'm going to take the Raiders on the bye week, getting three points at home. I think this is a team that's going to give the Steelers fit with Terrell Pryor. I think he's going to get outside and have a big game running the football. I think he, this is a very underrated Raiders team in uh, yes, the Steelers have won two straight, but I think the Raiders will be rested and ready for them at home. We'll go to our next game. The Falcons, they're decimated offensively, but I'm going to take the three points on the, with them going to Arizona. I think that Matt Ryan is playing excellent, and the only reason they are winning games or even in games at times. So I'm going to take them going to our next game. The Redskins travel to Denver, who is looking to have... Uh, bounce back after a loss to Indianapolis. I'm going to take the 13 points of the Redskins. I think this is a shootout where both teams score into the 40s. I think the Redskins keep it close enough. Packers and Vikings is a Sunday night battle, a battle of NFC North teams. I'm going to take the Vikings despite looking horrible Monday night football. I think another week with Josh Freeman in the system can only help him get better, and he was pathetic on Monday. I think Peterson has a huge bounce back game after being held to under 40 yards. Take the nine and a half points going to Monday Night Football where Callan Clemens makes his first start for the Rams for the injured Sam Bradford this season. I'm going to lay this ten and a half points on the Seahawks. They 
appear to be the best team in the NFC. And I say lay the points. That's my picks for this week against the spread in the NFL Week 8. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it.